Research suggests that teaching strategies inspired by cognitive science principles can have a positive impact on learning in the classroom. But in order to use them effectively, it's important to understand two key concepts. Memory processes and cognitive load theory. Cognitive load is the mental load that the working memory is being asked to process when understanding new content or completing a task. Cognitive load theory is based on the idea that working memory has a limited capacity. There are two types of load to be aware of, intrinsic load and extraneous load. The intrinsic load is the level of challenge inherent in the information or task. When we focus students' working memory on the correct level of intrinsic load, this can lead to learning. The intrinsic load can be influenced by the complexity of the information or task, or by how different elements of the task interact with each other. The more interacting elements, the more the working memory is having to process, creating a higher intrinsic load. Intrinsic load can also be influenced by the student's prior knowledge. If the student has more prior understanding of a concept or parts of a process, then intrinsic load is lower. The extraneous load comes from the way in which information is presented to the student. A complicated resource with lots of text, images and instructions can be difficult to decipher. It will require a big chunk of the working memory to make sense of. This is especially true if there are lots of places to look for information. This is also the case with verbal explanations. Explanations with many steps or unnecessary information require more working memory and may lead to confusion. Extraneous load can also include the environment the student is learning in. The environment can provide lots of input for the sensory memory, making it more difficult for working memory to identify the important inputs. When the intrinsic load and the extraneous load combine, they may overwhelm the working memory. This results in cognitive overload, meaning the student is unable to process information and little learning happens as a result. Research suggests that teachers should try to optimise pupils' intrinsic load and reduce extraneous load, allowing working memory to be directed towards the learning goal. So, how can teachers do this? This can be done by breaking tasks into smaller steps and practicing them individually before pupils attempt the whole task. Practicing elements of a task can help develop automaticity, relieving cognitive load. Teachers can also consider what prior knowledge might be needed to access the new content or task. To reduce extraneous load, teachers could look to reduce the number of steps and instructions that are given or break them into manageable chunks. They can also remove unnecessary distractions from the classroom environment and streamline resources to ensure that only the most important information is included. For more information about managing cognitive load and some of the approaches described in this animation, download the EEF's Cognitive Science Evidence Review from our website.